What's good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Just Be Wise, and today we're gonna do a little experiment. Today I have a uh, Sony A72, which you guys know I love, and the A73, which you may have heard me say I love, but I haven't really been able to own it yet. I'm renting it right now. I'm actually shooting on one as well because I had a wedding. I spent too much money renting cameras. That's essentially what's, what we're, where we're starting off with, okay? So just stop, all right? It's not the YouTube monies. Okay, so anyway, the experiment today that we're gonna run is, is it worth just upgrading your lens on the a7 II or should you go ahead and upgrade your body to the a7 III? How we're gonna do this experiment? Now, unfortunately, I don't have enough time to really go out in the field and shoot some stuff but what we're going to do is just a little bit of test inside here where we're going to take the a7 II, shoot with the kit lens then shoot with the tamron 28 to 75 which y'all know i love and we're going to do the same thing with the a7 III, and we're going to see if you guys can notice the difference between the four different lenses or four different but between the four different setups Kit lens, A7 II, kit lens, A7 III, Tamron lens, A7 II, Tamron lens, A7 III. So we'll take a couple shots and we'll see how you like it. Let's do it. Uh, okay, so real quick. All right, so currently we're shooting in S-Log 2 on the A7 III with the Tamron 28 to 75. And we're currently shooting at 3.5 F-stop. So this, is what it looks like. Next. Uh, okay, so real quick. All right, so this is the kit lens. So we're shooting at 28 with 3.5. That's the norm. Um, I haven't been able to see any of this yet, so we'll see what it looks like. But this is on the A7 III with the kit lens. Let's go to the next one. Uh, okay, so real quick. All right, this is with the Tamron. I will admit the autofocus is much better with the Tamron on the lens, um, but you can see it's still having a hard time following me even with slight movements. I keep checking to make sure uh, I'm at least in focus for you guys so you can tell the difference. Uh, okay, so real quick. Now this is back to the norm, the normie, what it normally looks like here. delicious so as to not give away how i feel i'm gonna save my decision makings for the comment section below which is what i would like you to do as well go ahead leave a comment down below if it's worth it to do whatever and i know everyone's gonna have a different opinion basically based off of where they're at if you're just a hobby person then it doesn't make sense to upgrade anything unless you just want to have a better time like why are you paying 800 dollars for a lens and you only shoot once every three weeks exactly but if you do this more professionally then it's like i'll show you a clip we shot a wedding we used the a7 threes but we also used the a7 II, and it came out great so just to let you know you can still use the a7 II to do some dope videos or maybe you're someone in between you're doing youtube trying to get it done for a living or you do it enough where you do more consistently than i've done in the past we're not gonna talk about that so anyway leave your comments down below like the video if you like the video and as always i gave you guys some tools to create now be great peace uh, all right okay, and so this I'll here the is way. the a7 III. all right yeah so, so, now this is back to at two point okay real quick right, just so you want this is the normie.